Hey everybody, Boftjes here, and welcome back to Marcus A. King's 2 series, Nestorius Did Nothing Wrong. Now, last episode, I defended against the Abbasids, who decided that I was easy pickings. I was less easy than they thought. Um, mountainous terrain and dangerous use of mercenaries allowed me to actually hold them at bay and get a white piece off them. I possibly could have got a, a full surrender from them, but it was too risky. It was easier to... Uh, to just get a white piece from them then because I had my forces had been crushed and they were about to just be wiped out so it was still I got a truce from them the truce lasts until well five years from now so I was improving relations with the caliph um oh I've just moved them there now probably shouldn't have done that probably should have carried on fabricating a claim on um Armenia or at the very least this county but whatever it doesn't matter as long as I've got good relations with them that means that they're not going to join in this holy war, which I'm about to declare on, not that guy, but this guy, the Count of Semenda, because he came to power because of a uh, sunny revolt against the Duchy of Armenia. So all of a sudden, he doesn't have many troops, and uh, yeah, so he's, he's dealing with that. And I mean, it's he's currently got new administration and recently conquered. So from all these guys, all these all these bits of land, he doesn't actually get much. So. I currently have 2,760. Uh, 2, I'm getting an alliance with the King of Abyssinia soon enough, but for now, I'm going to offer uh, call a holy war for Armenia and hope that not many people come and help him. Because they shouldn't. The Abbasid Caliph certainly won't, because I he, he likes me too much. Perhaps the Yazi did. Uh, the Bardanids, where are they? Oh, they've come in. That's annoying. Ah, but they're in their own holy war. Uh, oh! What's this? Uh, Mesopotamia holy war. Durbant. Is Durbant that? Durbant is that. Okay, so this guy's immediately being attacked by both. Um, oh, bollocks. Why? No, that's not what I needed to happen. Not at all. That's annoying. Is he involved in both? No, just just the one with me. But he likes me. I was hoping he wouldn't do that. Oh well. Uh, we'll get an alliance with this guy. If I crush his forces, maybe that'll give me some quick um, war score. And I've improved. I've cleared my ambition to get married, which is good. And I'm now going to want to have a son. Because... I guess I died in battle, didn't I? Yes. So, um, yeah, so I need a son because I need an heir that I can educate and make right. 1% war score. That's not anything close to helpful. He's not in any other wars, so he's probably going to bring his full might to bear, even though he likes me. Leading troops in Jerusalem. That's a fair distance away, if that's where most of his army is. Oh, is this a... Uh, is he being attacked by... No? Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'm going to educate my half-brother. I'm going to educate him myself, I think, because that would probably be wise. What are my current traits? Diligent, gregarious, kind, and proud. Not the worst ones ever. And I'm a Midas-touched ruler as well, which is pretty good, pretty decent. Now, um, it will be interesting to see if I can actually take advantage of this. They are sending troops, Annie... They have a river crossing to where I am. So river crossing and mountains. So if I have a decent commander, which is me, which I do not want to happen, um, he can be in command. I may be able to uh, survive this battle. And if not, then white piece out. And uh, no, I was completely wiped out. So uh, <laughs> this, uh, this is going to go poorly for me. I was really relying on the fact that the Abbasids wouldn't get involved, because he, he likes me, but apparently he takes his religious duties very seriously. Oh, he's become ambitious. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm not sure if that's the best thing for him, because he's not actually my heir, and he is my half-brother. He's going to be a rival claimant. Yeah, so 8,000 fucking men. That's annoying. Okay, well, I'm not probably not going to win this war now, uh, to put it lightly. So I might as well, to save me time, I will lose moral authority. I don't have much to begin with, so that's not very good, but um, 
unless he's gotten involved with the Georgian War. He has not. He's only against me. And I am against the Countess Amenda, the Bardanids, the Caliph, and the Al Sharabi satrapy. Where are the Al Sharabis? Not sure. Either way, I don't think this is, this war is going to be winnable. So I'm going to. I can't wipe peace. I'm going to surrender. And that means he will. I will lose. What will I lose? Piety, prestige, and 344 gold. That's a lot of gold, but I shouldn't hopefully need it. So. Okay, and once those troops have stopped being hostile. Okay, I've improved relations, doesn't matter. He's still at war with me. May Allah destroy your house. He does not like me very much, does he? So I'll uh, disband this army. Now, where else can I look? I can apparently attack this guy, claim Cartley, for my courtier, who is blinded. Um, I don't foresee much use from that. So I'm going to move my guy back to this guy and hope that... Oh, yeah, I expelled the Jews at one point, so now that I'm losing diplomacy, apparently. Allow the duel. Okay. Go for it. Um, when does this truce run out? 902. So I have five years from now. I need to keep an eye on that. Make sure he likes me quite a bit before that truce runs out, because he might go to war with me again. I don't know if I could win another. It was very risky. He wants to be my, my spy master. Uh, yeah, you can be my new spy master. You like me a lot. Is he my friend? Spy master. No, he's just content and generally a decent guy. So I'm going to have him go over to there. That was my phone just saying it's fully charged. Apologies for that. Um, yeah, and just let my money continue to recover, really. Uh, Agbania. Ag Ag this guy has taken... Oh, my friend has embraced a dangerous thing. Yep, he's converted back. That's good. So I can holy warring is still not a not a viable thing to do. Apparently, I was hoping that good relations with the other sunny powers would be more effective at keeping them out of the fight, but apparently not. So I'm going to have to resort to getting claims on my neighbours, and I'm considering becoming a vassal of the Byzantine Empire, but I don't think that's going to work out for me very well. Um, he's become a scholarly theologian. He's also insane. So, that's certainly interesting. I will marry him off to King Rast Ironside. Ah, that's a good name. Uh, lots of Ironsides, apparently. Interesting. Um, I will still try and get an alliance with someone of some use. King Rast Ironside of Bulgaria, is it? Uh, yes. My uncle. He is. Interesting. Uh, cool. So, I'm going to get an alliance with them. I don't think he, he's already an ally, is he? No, he's not. Okay. So do I actually have any allies? I have the King of Abyssinia, which would be useful. Why? 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 No. That's not gonna... That will not fly, unfortunately. <sighs> oh well. Right. Well, um, so that Holy War didn't work out particularly well, which is a shame, because it really would have been helpful if I could have got all that land. And it also would have been nice to have some moral authority. I'm go I've, my wife is pregnant, which is good. Um, oh, this one's been converted. Now, who's in my prison? Some some random woman who has a very high stewardship, I have to say. That's quite incredible. But she's insane, so she can stay in there. Um, now, can I get any retinue? I can't. I do not have anywhere near enough retinue cap to actually get any cataphracts, which would be useful to have. But, uh... Without them in any great number, they're not going to change any war. So it'll probably be too expensive at this, at this moment anyway, so. Um, still looking like the only... I can't holy war with many people. can't go to war with many people. Uh, yeah, okay. Yep, I will join your Ab Abbasid holy war for that. I won't really do anything because I don't want to get involved, honestly. Oh, hello. 
Defending against... Oh, yes. Uh, my phys... Oh, oh, that's not... Oh, wait, no, that is good. Um, a son was born. Ab Abugama. Uh, I will call him... Theo Dorrit. Nice and original, I know. But, can't have too many Theodorits. I've fulfilled my ambition. Very handy. And now I'm going to go for... That gives me plus one stewardship. That gives me plus one learning, 100 piety, and a title. Also gives me moral authority, which would be quite handy. King of Armenia, not really going to happen in this lifetime, I don't think. So, I might just go for a mass wealth for now. Because it would be useful to do. And this guy's currently defending against a... Oh no, this... The Byzantines are wholly warring the Bardanids. And the Caliph has got involved because he likes to do that. Involved in wars that he really shouldn't get involved in. It would have been so much more handy if he, if he hadn't done that. But whatever. Um, now, I... I do have to be a, a careful. What was that? Yep, okay. So the Bardanids are dealt with. So my western flank is completely secure. It's literally just the Yazidids. I'm going to become kind. Wonderful. Uh, it's just the Yazidids and the Abbasids who are a possible threat at the moment. And of course Armenia because they've got claims. But I'm not overly worried about them. Now, this guy is in many a war. He's defending against a holy war. The Duke of Minions got involved as well. Of course he has because he doesn't like the guy particularly much. Um, diligent. Wonderful. So ambitious and diligent. He's quite a good character if only he wasn't a claimant. Oh. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Prince of Georgia. Cool. So I now have a claimant to the Kingdom of Georgia in my in my uh, court who is married to my sister matrilineally. So any kids he has will be in my dynasty, which is quite handy. Means I can get some quite useful claims on the go if I need to. Now, my court chaplain does need to start converting. If he goes for the Myophysite provinces, they're going to have lower moral authority than the Orthodox, because the Orthodox keep winning holy wars. So if I go for them, I have a better chance of converting them. So, that's what I'll go for. How am I looking relations-wise with this guy? Uh, he likes me a lot, still. Still got three years before anything happens. Uh, it is too dangerous. I almost became my Like That would not have been good. That would completely ruin this whole um, whole series, really. It would be pointless. It would be like, oh, I'm just another my Like ruler. Although then I'd be able to possibly do something, but we'll see. Now, what's happening over here? Um, not only he's not in any wars. He's got quite a few men. Uh, any kids I could marry? No. She's five. Maybe later on. We'll see. Generating quite a bit of money. I'm almost at my uh, ambition requirement, which would be nice. Get a little bit extra stewardship from that. The Hashemids are still going strong. I have to say. The Hashemid Emirate. He has too many ducal titles, so he's probably not going to be the most popular guy. He is quite actually popular. That's that's a surprise. Um, those, get, who, those who love get love in return. This guy's turning out pretty great. Unfortunately, he's not my heir, but whatever. What can you do? Hagop. Um, yeah, fine. You can continue to be called Hagop if you want. He's... That's not good. Demand religious conversion. Wonderful. Demand religious conversion. Also wonderful. And this guy, I can't demand his religious conversion. But I imagine he'll he'll be educated the correct faith. So that's fine. What's going on here? Why are they involved? Oh! Armenian Byzantine du jour war. Okay. So the emperor's looking east and seeing lots of people he can't hold war. So he's going for du jour claims. It might end up... I'm at war with the Byzantines, which is not going to be very good at all. Um, however, I could, if it looks bad, I might be able to swear fealty and last that way. Oh, hello. 
My my ally's actually winning this war. Abyssinian holy war. Oh, it's an. I thought it was Abyssid holy war, but it's not. Okay, so that's fine. I thought he was winning against the Abyssids. That would be incredible. I'd have been really impressed with that. Now, um, uh, she's not pregnant. No, she's not. Uh, she doesn't particularly like me either. Send gift and award honorary title. High Almana. She's zealous, so she's not going to convert. Um, she doesn't like me overly much either, so I will have to work on that. Try and convert her to Nestorianism. I thought Ashen to be more reasonable. Um, are you going to die? You might die. You only have one. Well, we'll see. His rifle is this guy, who is minus one. Okay, so his chances are pretty good, because Craven. Uh, and what's the other thing that's affecting it? Elusive. Sh what else is affecting it? Craven. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, he's turning out quite well. You can charitable. This guy's turning out great. I wish he was my heir. <laughs> oh, he wants to be. Oh wow, he's pretty decent. Um, quite a, a couple points better than my current chancellor. Demand he converts. Here's a claim on what? Cartley. Cartley. Cool. Um, oh, he's back to not liking me. So, before, and this is just before his uh, truce runs out. So, I'm going to improve relations with him. And uh, he's currently still in a war. I've seen Holy War. He won. Good stuff. And I've got completed my ambition to mass wealth, which is good because I might need it if the Abbasids go to war with me again. I'm going to try and have a daughter, which will give me more fertility. Tell me more about the scholars. I could always make my guy, my uh, my brother, my half brother, my heir, because he is. Uh, this is elective. I had almost forgotten about that, so that's something I could do. So I don't need to settle for uh, any substandard heirs, which are quite handy. Um, I'm gonna improve mil military organisation and uh, improve keeps. I think. That's all I'll do for now. And this guy's calling me into a war. Okay. Don't really care. I'm not coming all that way. I've had a go at someone because they're not ambitious enough, apparently. And, uh, yeah. Cool. So, I've got 3,000 men at the moment. That's a substantial amount of men. And combined with any mercs I can hire, that's, that could work out quite well for me. Um, I do need to get some conversions done. He's been in prison for 34 years. No wonder he's insane. Oh! It's done. It's converted to the Nestorian. That is amazing. Okay. So, move on to the next. Ah, oh, no, I should probably go for the Myphysite province, but whatever. See if we can get some orthodox conversions on the go. That's amazing. So I no longer have the prompt to convert to Myphysite, because Myphysite is not the main religion of this. Oh, and she is weak. That's that's not good. I've had a daughter of sorts. Thank you, game. <laughs> and I'm going to have my ambition as king of Armenia because I can't have any of anything else. So I might as well. Now, uh, what's this guy's? He doesn't have an ambition. Interesting. Um, he's stressed though, so it could be kicking the bucket a couple of months down the line. Become more patient? No, he's staying rough. That would be cool if he was patient, though. He'd be immediately made my heir. This guy still does not like me. How long? 5th of August this year. How much would a gift cost? 400. God, oh, that's not going to happen. I want to become a great warrior. And I've improved my martial and personal combat skill. Oh, wow. Like, literally, the truce has just run out and he's improved relations. That's good. That's a good start. Keep going. He's currently still in the war against the Georgians, I think. Yes. Georgian Holy War. And he's, uh, he's that's that's over. That's not good. That means that he's no longer busy with other things. My wife is pregnant. This is good. Lots of potential alliances to have. Um, do I currently still have an alliance with... Uh, I do. Can I call to war? Why not? He can call me to war, so I assume I can call him to war, so that's fine. Um, yep, okay, I'll join your war. 
I won't do anything. But I want you to like me so you might come and help me. Uh, that's not enough of a difference. He doesn't like me as much. He's more likely to plot against me if the if the need arises. Okay, so uh, I'm going to look to end this episode in a couple of months. Mom months? I can't even speak now. Uh, I'm increasing my, my levy, which is quite handy. I'm still increasing my gold as well. I mean, how many men can the Caliph bring to bear? 17,000. I can bring 3,000. So that's a bit of a difference. But whatever. So yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I've had a son, Ste Stepanus. You can be continue to be called Stepanus. And I will see you next time.